energy measurements. You can go back and through these videos and see my energy. And if somebody replies, it gives me a little bit of energy. Sorry if my replies don't say what you'd like, but this is not... So, energy transfer mechanisms. There are social energy transfer mechanisms, right? Go listen to music. Listen to, a con listen to music by yourself and then listen to music in a concert. The same songs can draw a different energy because of the crowd around you. Eating bananas gives you energies for a bunch of reasons, right? We know these things. We know gently how this works. You encourage the good. You nurture the good. You foster the good. And the bad you try and shun and push away and ignore or you teach that it is bad. So these are en subtle energy transfers. Your mind has learned something, right? To carry forward, help you be social. So energy transfers. This gets very complicated when you go into the physics of energy transfers. Now we can barely measure these soft energy transfers, right? I wish you a good day and you smile. A little bit of energy got transferred there. A little bit of a smile, maybe, for a few more steps down the walk of life. So these energies are so... There's a spectrum of them, right? There's all kinds of energies. Specifically, we, love is an energy. That tree, that beautiful tree that's growing roots in the earth and surviving in spite of the house that was put on top of it or underneath it. So these energies very subtle things long lasting persistent have been here and we build off of and add to amazing aren't we so when you get into particles the different types of energy that nature uses that nature has is that nature displays to us we as humans have learned how to measure these very specifically very discreetly these energy measurements are temperature. These energy measurements are weights. Weight is energy. It can be used. The seesaw is a good example of weight and energy and fun. What a package, right? So these energy transfer mechanisms, these are well defined and well understood. They're also well confused. There is a reason in many of the towers of science, these things can get blended and used and summed up a quantum made of them to be useful in further investigations. But the facts are a photon, visible light, light we can't see. The range of energies of a photon is a range. A photon is light. An electron is electricity. We have a discrete way of measuring electron movement. Incidental to electron movements are the creation of photons, which are very related to those electrons. They tell the story over history of electron movement. So these two things have been around for a long, long, long time. The subatomic level, the photons and the, the electrons. We have seen light since campfires. We have been staring at these. Now, how old are campfires? Fire was around before us. We're running on, uh, rough, give or take, 200, 300,000 years of speech and intelligence to be able to put things together a little bit better than our competitors. So, these subatomic particles that people talk to, we've only known of these for a couple of generations. We felt them. Probably the biggest uh, advocate for these other particles was Tesla. Now, the people that like to make woo and money off of this throw his name around all over. The, the truth is, we did not have the tools to measure some of these energy spectrums, discrete spectrums. Tesla knew about them. He first 
realized, and many of his peers did, electromagnetic waves and transferring energy through the air. But he also knew that something else was going on because he wasn't getting all the energy transferred. It was being dissipated somewhere. So he learned very slowly about impedance in the air and how waves travel through the air. And in this, he got hints and further insights that there were other energies. That the meters that he had, oh, he ran across somebody else measuring. This guy put film out there and saw particles. Film was one of the eye-openers for people because not only were pictures on the film, there were traces of other things on the film. This film, using photo-optic principles, could see things that the human eye couldn't see. Yet we knew they were there. We knew they were real. Discrete particle measurements, key, critical to understanding harm in the environment, very, very specific, towered parts of the sciences dealing with stoichemistry, stoic chemistry, the interaction at the boundaries of different types of materials and how they work or don't work together. These are the sciences. This is the amazing things that have been going on. It takes hundreds of books to begin to grasp seeing what others have done in the world and putting those pieces together to make the next discovery. This is how we have worked. This is how the sciences work. This is why those institutions that aren't religious are so important, the cultural, the societal ones. The shallow beliefs that can be brought in from faith have added no value other than ethical considerations when trying to decide this medicine kills five out of a thousand people which means 9,995 people live a better life do you allow those five deaths? there are people making these decisions for us in the real world This is what today's politics is exposing. Second-guessing the medical profession for decades. Beliefs getting between women's legs is disgusting on so many levels. Time to be disgusted with them. That little minority that's getting huge shrift in our media that little minority so scared they think they need bullets to explain and justify their position. That little minority that wouldn't get eight minutes into this video to listen to this tirade anyway because they're panty waists, scared humans, afraid of losing something. So am I. Peace is out, neighbors. Blessings.